one of her mottos to me was, you can be as naughty as you want, just don't get caught. She was one of the naughtiest parents. She would come and watch us play football and you know, smuggle sweets into our socks. And I mean, just, like literally walking back from a football match and having like, sort of five packets of Starburst and just the whole shirt was just bulging with sweets. And then I sort of looking around, open the top box, throw it all in, lock it up. She was a, a massive card writer. She loved the rudest cards you could imagine. And I would be at school and I'd get a card from her mother. Usually she found something, you know, very embarrassing, you know, very uh, funny card and, and then sort of written very nice stuff inside. But I dare not open it in case the teachers or anyone else in the class had seen it. There's a couple of memories I have that are particularly funny. Just outside this room where we are now, um, she organized when I came home from school to have Cindy Crawford, Christy Turlington, and Naomi Campbell waiting at the top of the stairs. I was probably 12 or 13 year old boy who had posters of them on his wall. And uh, I went bright red and didn't quite know what to say and sort of fumbled. And I think I pretty much fell down the stairs on the way up. I was completely and utterly um, sort of awestruck. That was a very funny memory that's lived with me forever about her loving and embarrassing and, and sort of, uh, you know, being, being the sort of uh, the joker. During August 1997, Prince William and Prince Harry were enjoying summer in the Scottish Highlands. While their mother was away, she constantly kept in touch. The very last memory that I have is a, a phone call at Balmoral. At the time, Harry and I were running around, minding our own business, you know, playing with our cousins and having a, a very good time. As a kid, I never enjoyed speaking to my parents on the phone. Um, and we spent far too much time speaking on the phone rather than speaking to each other because of just the way the situation was. And the phone rang and off he went to go and speak to her sort of for five minutes. And I think Harry and I were just in a desperate rush to, to say goodbye, you know, see you later, um, we're gonna go off. And if I'd known now, obviously, what was gonna happen, I wouldn't have been so blasé about it and everything else. But um, that phone call sticks in my mind quite, quite heavily. Do you remember what she said? I do, I do. And then, Harry, Harry, mummy's on the phone, right, my turn. <laughs> Off I go, you know, pick up the phone and and you know, and it was and it was her speaking from, from, from Paris and you know, she I can't really necessarily remember what I said, but all I do remember is is probably, you know, regretting for the rest of my life the how short the phone call was. And if I'd known that that was the last time I was gonna to speak to my mother, the things that I would the things I would have said to her. Looking back on it now, it's incredibly hard. I have to sort of deal with that for the rest of my life. Not knowing that that was the last time I was going to speak to my mum and how differently that conversation would have, would, would have panned out if I had even the slightest inkling that, that, was, that, that, you know, that her life was going to be taken that night. The princess was taken to intensive care following a car crash. The press association uh, announced with a news flash at 4.41 that Diana, Princess of Wales, has died, according to British sources.